I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne, and this is Drake. I always wait, like, I'm Corinne, and then I'm like, wait, is she going to say who I am, or am I going to have to get ready? <laughs> so today we want to do a member spotlight on one of our active members. You know him, you love him, you've seen him. Bobby, Benave Bobby Benavidez yeah. from Haskell County Nursing Center in, yes. is Haskell County, Oklahoma? Um... I think it. I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Or it's um, called Kaya or something. I don't know. It's in Oklahoma. A, I think, but it's in Oklahoma. One of our Oklahoma. So many people. active members in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and we want to take the time to spotlight Bobby. Actually, I just reached out to Bobby at the end of last week. I was just thinking about him, and John actually, John Maxwell, the assistant mm -hmm. of member services, was like, "Hey, you know, Bobby." I've been seeing him. He's posting. Let's send him something. So, Bobby, we're sending you something. Thanks for everything you do and keeping other members engaged. Um, I know he has done several different fundraisers over the yes. history mm -hmm. of his time being in NACA. So that's great yeah. for him. Um, the one that I caught, they actually had um, a news person come out because they were, I guess it was at a football game. And they were parking. Parking. That's what I was thinking stuff. of. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Yes, they were directing traffic. So another different kind of fundraiser that you don't see out there too often. These CNAs, because CNAs have great minds, have thought of, and they were doing it. And I, yes, right. I spotlighted that in a article or in the Edge one month. And another great thing about Bobby is um, I met him for the first time was at CNA Fest. Okay. But um, he he's incredible. And the other thing that I really like about him, I love about him, is when you meet him, it's like you have this immediate attraction to him. You know, he's he's lovable. He's got that personality. I mean, he's like contagious. Yeah, it's like a, you know? I say like a brother feeling, you know, like you just meet mm -hmm. him and it's like, man, this guy's great. And yes. he is. And one great thing I think about Bobby I have never seen Bobby in action on the front line, and I can tell his passion and compassion shines through like no other, even to those around him. So for, again, I will reference 10% of frontline caregivers are male, so we make up a very right. small percentage. So to be able to keep that shine and stay positive, kudos to you and keep doing whatever you're doing that keeps you that happy. Yeah, and the other thing um, that caught my eye about Bobby was during CNA Fest, um, Lisa Sweet recognized mm -hmm. him for helping her in a hard situation, yes. you know, that she was going through. And um, he was on CNA Heroes. Yep. Ten little numbers. Who would think that that would be so important and nearly save a person's life? Ten little numbers. Bobby Benavidez knew how important that was. CNA hero, say his name. I love that. You know, for him to go up and to write his number down and, mm -hmm. you know, and give it to Lisa, that really shows that if he can do that to, she's not really a stranger to him, but someone that you're not really close to. Think course, about yeah. how he touches so many of his residents, mm -hmm. you know, just by putting himself out there. Right. You know, so um, Bobby, we're very proud of you and hopefully we'll see you. Um, I was going to say next year at CNA Fest, but it's this, this year, year CNA Fest. It's about Fest. less than six months. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely this year. Yeah. Speaking of CNA Fest, um, I wanted to take a moment to... Talk to everybody about our CNA Fest scholarship essay. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting here now. I work here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I came to CNA Fest the first time. I was working a third shift in my building. And I'm actually never going to forget who I was working with. I worked kind of a supervisor role. So I was working office hours at the time. And I seen the essay question posted on NACA's website through some Google search and I answered a similar question, 
kind of different. And this year when we were figuring out what's the question going to be this year, my mind just continued to go to the need that we have for long-term caregivers or caregivers as a whole, hospice, home health. There is such a vast need for these caregivers in the nation. I thought maybe we should write about something like that. So I'm going to read the question in three to 500 words, NACA ask that you answer the following question. And the question can be submitted through our website and we pick a different number of winners each year, but this would cover your travel and your conference registration fees. So the question this year is, by 2026, 7.8 million direct caregivers will be required to lead the needs of aging America. Please tell us in three to 500 words what ways we can retain and recruit quality CNAs. In these essay responses, we are not looking for grammatically correct spelling, punctuation, or anything. We want you to get your passion and your heart on a paper and let us know how can we recruit and retain the 7.8 million direct caregivers that are going to be needed by 2026. The number just keeps going up and up every year. When I wrote on this similar topic, by 2020, we needed 1.8 million caregivers. So 6 million more caregivers in a six year span. It's a lot and it's not only going to dire directly impact our residents, it's going to directly impact us as caregivers. We all know how it is to go into a building and not have the adequate amount of staff on the floor. So mm -hmm. we're asking to write this, you to write this question to think, you know, what are we doing in the field? The retention aspect is a lot on CNAs. When people are leaving, a lot of the time they're leaving for stuff that's happening within our own CNA world. So we're asking, you know, what ways can we retain and recruit these people? Submit your essay. Again, we're not looking for grammatically correct spelling or grammar, and we'll be watching for them. We have a panel of essay reviewers or judges that are not from this industry. So you are writing to a completely different audience than us here in the office. So get your passion out there and, you know, let us know how you really feel. How are we going to retain these people? And first, how are we going to recruit them in order to retain them? Right. That's pretty cool because I was also an essay winner. It wasn't yeah. my first time. Yeah. But um, my question had to do with um, CNA Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it Des Moines. Was, yes. Well, it was Altoona. Oh, so it was at still, Prairie Hills? Yes. Um, that was an awesome mm -hmm. conference. So um, it's easy to do, just like Drake said, you just, you know, you write from your heart, you um, write down your passion and make sure to remember that you're not writing to us here at NACA, you're writing to someone that it has no knowledge of the nursing field whatsoever. So make sure you keep that in the back of your mind when you are writing your your essay. And another thing that you can do is take some of the words that you're writing, uh, some of your passion that you're writing in your essay, and don't forget to write your CNA stories yes, about yes. how you plug got that into in. It. CNA stories are due on March 31st. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had quite a few yep. of those too. So um, it's easy to do. You know, I love writing, so I don't I know mean, if I say it's easy or not because for me it is, but. I love, love, love to write. So. Yeah, don't worry about your spelling or your pronunciations of words because I'm a prime example that it doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> you just got to speak from your heart. Exactly. Yep. All right. So again, Bobby, thank you for everything you do. To everyone watching, I expect that we are going to get so many essay entries. I look forward to that. So get in there, write your essays. And we look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, remember that you matter.